Run Network Troubleshooter. Step 1. Go search bar, type settings, and hit enter. Step 2. In settings, go to network and internet, status, network troubleshooter. Step 3. Allow the troubleshooter to run all the way and see how things turn out. Think about antivirus program. On occasions, your antivirus program could be blocking the connection between your computer and the Internet. To test out that theory, feel free to turn off the program and witness the result. If your PC reestablishes connection afterward, you could conclude that your antivirus program is at fault. All you have to do at that point is to change the program settings, look for a new program, etc. Restart router. Step 1. Turn off, unplug, or remove batteries from your router. Step 2. Wait for about 30 seconds. Step 3. Turn the router back on and wait until it's running, indicated by the lights. Think about the driver. Step 1. Go search bar, type device manager, and hit enter. Step 2. Expand Network Adapters. Right-click Intel Wireless AC9462 Update Driver. Step 3. Hit Browse My Computer for Driver Software. Pick the driver update and wait until the update completes. Note, even if Device Manager says the driver is up to date, visit the Intel website and look for the latest driver version there. Sometimes Device Manager could fail to find the latest driver version by itself. If the Intel adapter remains unresponsive, consider uninstalling and reinstalling the driver. Step 1. Go search bar, type device manager and hit enter. Step 2. Right-click Intel Wireless AC9462 and pick Uninstall Device while checking the checkbox next to delete the driver software for this device. Step 3. Turn off your computer and turn it on again. As the screen comes back on, Windows would reinstall the driver for your adapter. Reset settings. Step 1. Go to search bar, type settings, and hit enter. Step 2. Navigate to network and internet. Step 3. In status tab, click network reset. Step 4. Hit Reset Now, then pick Yes to confirm. BIOS. Step 1. Reboot your computer. Step 2. On the initial boot screen, quickly press F2 to enter BIOS. Step 3. Reboot your computer one more time. 